G'day guys, Billy here from Lost Treasure WI, West Australia. Well, this is my beautiful, one of my fruit trees guys, my mandarin tree. It's starting to flower, so in winter, uh, produces beautiful mandarins. So only little, uh, tiny mandarins, this one guys, it's been neglected. I've got a few fruit trees around my yard, so a mandarin tree here. Just here guys, this is a uh, um, nectarine tree, once again it's been neglected, only tiny nectarines there, summer producing fruit. That one in the background there, that's a big apricot tree, you can just see it there. So that's a big apricot tree, that produces really nice apricots, didn't get no apricots this year guys, once again probably neglected by me. Uh, this is an orange tree. So it's just starting to flower again. So get some nice oranges off this little tree. Over here guys, we'll just go here. This is my um, lemon tree. This is one planted by my mum. So this has been here for a long time. And yeah, we usually get some nice lemons but it hasn't fruited again. But the buds are just starting to come out. You can just see the buds. So hopefully it gets nice, um, <laughs> lemons this year and just over here guys and just a, in this one here guys this is a nice peach tree so no peaches but I have had peaches on this one last year but like I say guys I've been um, neglecting my um, trees fruit trees and everything else also got some nice olive trees but they're a, a bit of a way away. But coming soon, guys, I'm going to be doing a huge big pruning session. And I'm going to really tidy up my garden, organic um, veggies and that kind of stuff. This is my apricot tree. No apricots again this year. I did get some nice ones last year. Got to be really careful with the apricots because as soon as it starts fruiting, guys, the parrots will start eating the fruit. So it hasn't been pruned for a long time. So this here is what used to be a nice um, net used to cover the whole apricot tree to cover uh, protective from parrots. But um, you can see how overgrown it is. So it really needs to be pruned. So. I'll get pruning in the very near future guys. So I've got heaps of beautiful natives, native plants, bougainvilleas and heaps of other nice plants around my yard. Pretty big backyard guys. Um, but yeah anyway, so what I've got here guys, this is a pot full of urine. So we're going to put this in my lemon tree. So this is all full of urine. So I save all my urine now guys. Uh, it's good fertilizer, urea. So urea is an ingredient of urine. So I've just poured all that fresh, or that's a day's urine in there. And I feed that to my fruit trees. So hopefully it gets nice fruit. So stay tuned guys, got some, this year when it starts to cool down a bit, when the right time for pruning, I'm going to be doing heaps of pruning of all my fruit trees and all my trees, guys, my big native fig tree there, all my native plants and so forth. I've got fish ponds in my yard down there, I've got frogs and tadpoles and heaps of beautiful um, amphibians. I also see the occasional little snake. I've got little snakes in there, guys. No poisonous ones, just like legless lizards and other snakes. But yeah, this used to be a pond here. Uh, needs to be relined. Nice um, one here. So you can just see the water moving. There's tadpoles in there. I've just trimmed all the native grass here. So that's full of tadpoles. There's another one in here. Down there needs to be trimmed again. Just over there guys, we've got the tadpole pond in there. This one here is full of tadpoles. I'll show you guys, I'll catch one, you can actually see them swimming down there. There you are. So, these tadpoles have been in this little container here for probably nearly a year, or if not a year. 
and this is a beautiful species of um, western toadlet these are so they make a beautiful noise when they're croaking so there's probably when I originally got it would have been probably over a thousand tadpoles in this container now there's probably a few hundred because they'll eat each other bugs so forth eat them lizards and birds and that will get in there kookaburras so yeah so I have heard them croak but I've got about four or five different species of um, tadpoles and frogs in my yard guys anyway it's not about tadpoles it's about the urine therapy so if you want to grow really healthy vegetables fruit um, and so forth make sure you save all your urine don't don't weigh in the toilet if you can avoid it save it for your healthy organic gardens and so forth okay guys appreciate you watching and we'll chat soon See ya.